I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, I think a, a lot of my viewers are going to know this, but because a lot of my viewers come from other channels and they watch a lot of channels, but for those of you who came from like Facebook and you're only semi-politically engaged, but you knew me on a forum and so, you know, you subscribed or you started looking at my channel because of some of the information you saw there. Um, so I just wanted to point out something that other countries don't have free speech. And even I see thrown around the statement that free speech is somehow part of the Western world. But this isn't accurate. Um, it's an American thing. It's our First Amendment, which, I mean, it's a whole nother tangent, but we don't always follow the Constitution, which is one of the reasons why um, when they start proposing these laws that are like proposing hate speech, people need to be awake and they need to be aware and they need to stand up against this stuff. Because the idea, oh, well, it's not constitutional, so it won't go through. Well, we have a lot of things going on that are not constitutional, like um, the Federal Reserve. But that's a whole nother video and I haven't quite done the research to talk about the Federal Reserve, but um, as a side note, <laughs> the entire concept of the Federal Reserve is not constitutional. And that's just one example of how the Constitution is not being fo followed. Um, but I just wanted to make a video to say pretty blatantly that I don't know of any other countries that have free speech. Like, I spoke to a Canadian. They said that they don't have free speech the way we do. They have hate speech laws. Um, the UK, of course, has them. If you're following things, there's a guy named... His screen name is Count Dankula, and I believe he was sentenced... I think... was it? I th thought it was the 22nd. That can't be right, because that's a Sunday. I don't think that they would have that on a weekend like that. But, um, so it's probably today, but they're six hours ahead of us, so it probably already happened. So the information should be coming out soon. Um, there's a channel called Tim Pool. Well, that's his name, but he's a channel. He, um, he does news and stuff. And I just noticed that he actually, he's over in the UK hanging out with Sargon of Akkad, who is in the UK. So, both of those channels will probably be on the ground, well, they will be on the ground finding out what's going on with this Count Ankula thing. And this is a guy from Scotland who was sentenced for hate speech because he offended people. He, like, turned his girlfriend's dog into a Nazi, but it was, like, he had, like, ten subscribers and he was trying to, like, annoy his girlfriend and, yeah, okay, maybe it's... I mean, it's part of the millennial generation where, like, they put everything online. You know, whereas my generation, Generation X, we're still kind of like, why would you broadcast that? There's certain things that, like, you know, I mean, the next generation, if things keep going this way, the next generation is, <laughs> the next generation is liable to, um, you know, broadcast themselves, you know, in the bathroom dropping a deuce. Um, <laughs> sorry that I'm being that blunt, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, that seems to be the path we're going on. We're, we're going on a path of more and more, like, having no inhibition, just, like, completely, like, sharing stuff that's just, you know, it's not necessarily a secret, but sometimes things are just not other people's business. You know, a lot of people will cry out, like, Tam I, man! Like, I remember when I was in the army, like, people would, we spent a lot of time together, so people would share things that was, you know, a little too personal, and people, other people would be like, Tam I, private! Tam I! Oh, Tam I! So, the concept of TMI is kind of, like, lost on our generation. Well, not my generation, but, you know, the millennials, the the idea of um, keeping certain things private, like, that was, like, out of whack in the opposite direction. You know, like, when my grandmother was growing up, you couldn't ask your family, like, um, when she, well, yeah, this is... Also kind of a TMI thing, but to illustrate 
when my grandmother got her, you know, um, how shall I call this, delicately, when she became a woman with her body, uh, and found stuff and didn't know what it was because they didn't explain that to girls. They didn't pull girls into the gym or the cafeteria in, like, fifth grade like they did do now and did for my generation and explain this stuff to them. When she had that happen, she had no idea what was going on. So she tried to ask, like, her mother and her older sisters to, like, like, what's going on? Um, is this normal? And they just refused to tell her, so she had to kind of figure it all out on her own. That was her generation. That was, like, she was born in 20, not 20, 1916, <laughs> my grandmother was born. So her generation, things were too private to where you couldn't even get relevant, needed information from family members of the same gender. But now we're going to this, like everything is everybody else's business kind of like let's let it all hang out and put it all out there online you know we're going too far with sharing too much with too many people you know people tweeting everything facebooking everything and it's kind of been made fun of but the generations younger than me i'm sure a lot of the people who watch my channel even if they are millennials they're the type of millennials who might not partake in this sort of behavior, but there's still a good chunk of them out there, and it's definitely a trend that's moving forward that people are showing a lot of stuff online. But, um, so that's kind of a tangent. But, yeah, I, I, the whole purpose of this video was to actually talk about the fact that only the U.S. really has this concept of free speech. I mean, maybe there's one or two other countries that I don't know about. If if you know of a country, you know, put it in the description. But it's definitely not a Western value. Um, because Western Europe, I mean, you look at the EU is... We're always hearing about countries in the EU not allowing free speech and countries in the EU having this whole thing going on with you know, hate speech this, hate speech that. Anyway, that's what I had to say. So thanks so much for stopping by my channel. And I will see you all next time.